So, today I'll be showing you how to convert a standard Miller Econo TIG 460 volt single phase uh, TIG welder to a normal standard volt 230 volt um, single phase TIG welder that you can use in your house. Uh, first of all, all you want to do is unplug the unit so it's not live while you're working on it. Unscrew a bunch of these cover plate screws. Take this hood off. That'll reveal to you the insides of the machine, as well as, most importantly, a wiring diagram that you'll use. So the way Miller did this is they offered this TIG welder in a whole bunch of different voltages from the factory. Uh, 200, 230, 240, 430, 460. It doesn't matter. What they did is they installed the same transformer in every unit, and then just offered taps so that they could buy a whole bunch of the same transformer and re-tap it depending on how you ordered it. This originally came from the factory as a 460 volt transformer, 460 volt primary. Um, all I did was change the taps, essentially. I added a little bit of wiring and that's it. If you look up to the uh, wiring diagram, from factory they all have this one wiring diagram that shows that it's 230 volts AC. Then when you order it as a 460 unit, they just slap this sticker on and that just changes the wiring diagram. I've highlighted all the important parts here. Essentially all I did was swapped this wire, 11, from the 460 volt portion of the transformer over to the 230 volt portion of the transformer. I'm just splicing wire 11 to wire 13 to convert it to how they have it right here. Essentially all you're doing. And if we look down here, you'll see exactly what I did. Here's the original 460 volt wire primary. This used to come to this load break switch right here. Um, I split the 230 volt primary that was going to this fan that's marked as 230 volt. I cut it, spliced it, added a um, 10 gauge wire to it and put it on the terminals and that's all this is. Now I have 230 volts coming from my panel into the transformer to power the internals of the welder as well as the fan that was originally 230 so I haven't changed anything there. Um, that's about it. I have reduced because I have reduced the voltage that's also reduced the output amps of the welder. It still runs perfectly. The only problem is I have an, a maximum output of 30 amps where it was 50 amps. Now, the only thing that matters is that you change this to a 30 amp uh, single phase plug as well as a 30 amp breaker. It's perfectly safe the way it is.